you guys. Welcome back to the channel. I see you, Tarot. So, I've already pre pulled some cards here. I shuffled and everything. So, I'm going to get straight into this message, right? Um, first card that came out here was the Two of Cups. I'll get to these two in a second. The first card that came out was the Two of Cups. Now, this could be talking about a relationship for you. This could be talking about you and another family member, like a sister, uncle, cousin. I don't know. Could be talking about a friend. This is usually a friendship card, but heavy on a friendship. I just gotta say that heavy on a friendship. When this card came out, like first thing that came to mind was I did some, I look at the card real good, right? And I was like, hmm, it seemed like it's two people, but then particularly this person right here wants to come in and make amends with this person. And when I was looking at it, I was like, I look at the lighthouse and I was like, okay, so there must be something here that came to light about a situation that happened, like in the past or whatever, you know, the medicine symbol with the lion, Leo rules the heart, so this could possibly be talking about a Leo, you could be a Leo, this person could be a Leo. When I was looking at their feet here, I was like, this person is standing on the um, ground, so I automatically thought like this person right here could be an earth sign. And that this person could be a water sign because they're standing in the water. But it's like, you see how this person's hand is reaching out to this individual right here? It's almost as if, like, somebody wants to rush in and heal something with you. But I wasn't really too much picking up on no good energy with this. You know, because this person, like, it's like, it's like her hand is still sitting on the cup. So, hmm... I didn't know, child. I had to pull some cards on it. So I got a card for this person and I got a card for this person. For the individual right here on the water, the Eight of Wands came out. So I'm automatically thinking like this person is, is giving the energy of standing up for yourself, like feeling like somebody is trying to attack you with Eight of Wands. You could possibly be a fire sign. But... It was just, I don't know, I'm just, I'm like, you just, just, I, and I heard the song coming in hot. Like, you just, just coming in hot. Like, you're ready to, like, just defend yourself, stand up for yourself. Or, like, maybe you do want to make amends with this person. This could be a toxic situation. I'm not too sure. But then for this individual, the devil came out. And I was like, whoa. <laughs> And I remember I said, like, I, I feel like this person could be an earth sign. So the devil could possibly represent this person to be an earth sign. And I don't know, child. I pushed up these cards before I started the video. And guilt is at the bottom of the deck. And behind it is peace. So I'm not getting no, I'm not getting no good energy with this. I'm picking up that somebody is feeling guilty. And this could possibly be a friend that's feeling guilty about something. And this person, like, as much as they're trying to rush in and, like, it's like they're trying to grab you or grab, like, your cup. I don't know. It just, it's giving too quick for me. It's giving a little too quick. And then we got the eight of wands facing the devil, like, almost as if, like, you're ready to defend yourself by, you know, sending this person the exact same energy that they've been sending you right back to them. It's like return to sender. It's giving a return to sender. But more so with your words. This is you communicate and standing up for yourself. Returning this energy back to sender. And then at the bottom of this deck over here, my personal deck right here, it's it got enemy at the bottom of the deck. It's like, it's, it's crazy. That's type of energy I'm picking up on here. I'm going to get another card for these to see what this is talking about. Clarify about this Eight of Wands. This is Ava Wise energy. We got the world. And then we got the ace of swords at the bottom of the day. Like, yeah, you're sword of truth. You ready to speak some type of truth here? If the word is giving me that this cycle is over with, then maybe this person is gonna try to come back in and say something to you. And maybe it's not going to be nice with the double being out here. This person might be very toxic. And you're just going to like, not flip out or anything. I wanted to say flip out. But like, I don't know, just, you're just going to stand up for yourself. That's what I'm getting. You're just going to stand up for yourself. Like, there could be some things that's being said about you. I don't know. I'm not too sure. 
But yeah, it's like, I don't know. It's like you're ready to like. I'm 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 hearing an Eminem song. I'm I'm hearing an Eminem song, and I'ma pick the world up and I'ma drop it on your fucking head. Yeah, was that Eminem? I don't know. That was Eminem. That was a uh, Lil Wayne. <laughs> that was Lil Wayne. Yeah. I don't know what song it was. I don't know. I don't even wanna look it up. Let's clarify this double though. I don't wanna make this too. Yeah, I just seen the Six of Cups. This is definitely somebody in the past. This cycle is already closed out. And this is why you close out the cycle because this person is toxic. This person, like, it's something about your energy here. We got the high priestess coming out here. This person could be a Pisces or a Capricorn. They could be looking at you online. You could be online somehow. Or they're getting some type of information about you or going to a tarot reader about you. And uh, quite frankly, right behind enemy. It's tarot reader. This person could be getting readings about you. Trying to look into your future here. Divination. Could possibly be trying to bind you to them. I don't like the type of energy I'm getting from this individual. It's not what I'm saying. Like, this person is sneaky. Very deceptive. They don't got good intentions. It's like this person is trying to, I'm heavy on the friend, y'all. Heavy on the friend, I'm just saying. And they're trying to they're trying to be in denial of what their true intentions are. This person don't have true intentions. Give me something for the world right here with eight of wands. Ooh. Honestly, want them to come out fast. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. See, that's what I'm saying. You coming in with your sort of truth. You, tr you being honest about what happened. And the card is purple, so it's something that hits you at heart. Something to do with the heart here. Something to do with emotions, love. This person could have pretended like they had a lot of love for you, but deep down inside, this person, they didn't truly love you. They didn't even want you to be friends with you. They were deceiving you. They didn't like something about you. Wow. But you're coming in being honest about whatever this is. Maybe you're meant to have a conversation with this person in order to fully close out the cycle. Tell them what's on your mind. That's what I'm getting here. That's what I'm getting here. But this person could definitely be going to a high priestess about you. What's the devil here with the high priestess? With this friend over here. I ain't gonna make this reading too long. Oh, we got grief, child. Oh my goodness. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Yeah, this friend is grieving over the loss of you. And then trying to find a way back in. Back into your good graces. You knew this friend wasn't being honest with you. So you walked away. You closed out the cycle. You felt attacked by this person. Maybe on the orange. Something about orange. Orange, orange represents creativity. Some. Something about creativity here. This person probably didn't like how creative you were. Let me see something here. What's the truth about this friend right here? I'm getting this is you. What's the truth dealing with my collective on this side? What's the truth here? We got the tower. I'm going to pick the world up and I'm going to drop it on your head oh my goodness like yeah with the nine cuts at the bottom like you standing up for yourself you're putting people in their place like you're, you're causing a tower moment here and i feel like the divine is helping you cause this tower moment because somebody's trying to take your crown somebody's trying to take your spot somebody's trying to make it seem like you're not who you say you are and that's the type of deception that this friend had this person like could be this person doesn't like something about you. This person is trying to use you for your creative abilities. Heavy on this orange, yo. I'm getting something with that orange. This person was like, give me one second here, y'all. Give me one second. Let me look something up right quick. If I'm not mistaken, this orange does represent creativity. Because in the picture, the devil is orange. The thing around him looks orange. This is orange. This person right here is orange. This person right here got orange in the hair. I 
okay, yeah, creativity, vitality, aliveness. This represents the sacral chakra. Something about your sacral chakra. Like, they don't like the fact that you have so much patience in life. This person wants you to feel guilty. They want you to be irresponsible. They're trying to knock you off. Of, they're trying to knock your sacral chakra off. They're trying to knock you out of balance here. That's the whole point of them coming in to amend things with you, to knock you out of whack. This person wants you to be very unbalanced. They don't want you to feel the need to create for yourself, to look forward to having a family here. But you're not worried about what this person is saying. Like, you said enough for yourself. This person is going to eventually come back in, though. They, like, somehow, they don't feel, they feel like, yeah, you know, I'm getting at you a loving person here. That's what I'm saying. Like, you could possibly be a water sign or something about get, uh, water in your chart. Something about your Venus placement. Probably your moon placement as well. Clarify, give me, what's the hidden truth about this friend over here? Let's see. It's all about your creativity. Your will to do better for yourself. To want to do better for yourself. Maybe they feel like they don't have it. Maybe they feel like they can't do it. They're trying to take from you. They could be trying to take your creative uh, ideas. And that was probably the whole reason why they were so close to you. To take your creative abilities. This person was trying to, possibly was trying to harness your sacred chakra energy from you. What's the truth about this person? They don't want to be known. They don't want to be shown. But it's, oh, wow. This person is under judgment. They, we can, they got the devil out here with judgment. This person is under heavy judgment here. They're having to go look at themselves. And why they are the way that they are. They're under judgment. This person, wow. This friend is under judgment. The divine isn't playing with this person. I don't know what this person, like, I'll say, I'm about to say, I don't know what this person did, but clearly is about your creativity. And it's that's on your calling. You have some type, yeah, this person went and got, went and talked to a practitioner, possibly a tarot reader. And found out that you had a very high calling. And they could have did this while you were still friends with them. And that's why another reason why you had to be honest with yourself and tell yourself, like, this is not going to work out. Like, you have, to, you have to move away from this person. And I believe your ancestors caused the end of which you and this individual. They wasn't being honest and true. They was only around you to harness your sacral chakra energy. They wanted your ability to create better for yourself. Your ability, they don't want, they don't want you to have kids. Like it's just, it's just a lot. It's a lot here. It's a lot. I'm not even gonna make this video too long. I've been picking up a lot on this friendship energy here. A lot. Let me see something here. I'm gonna get one more card for each of you and clarify. Give me one more card for my collective over here. I see love at the bottom of the deck. You had nothing but love for this person. We got pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Like, you have seen, you, this person could have been a part of your soul tribe here too. This person could have been meant to be a part of your soul tribe. And that's another reason why you probably felt a close connection to this person. They probably felt a close connection to you too. But it's something about you. I'm getting that you did more healing than this person when it came to your childhood trauma. This person is still bounded by things that happened to them in their childhood here with the devil. They're still bounded by toxicity, you know, distractions, generational, generational curses and stuff. They haven't healed from it or checked it out. And you could have came into this person's life being very honest, you know, wanting them to heal themselves in some type of way, but they probably wasn't willing to listen. Like it's coming like the type of energy of why it has to be coming from you. That's what I'm getting here. That you had, you had, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that you had actual real love for this friend. This is definitely somebody that could have been a part of your soul tribe. But this person is being judged 
because they decide to select their toxic ways, consume them and be envious of you instead of healing, instead of trying to figure out why they have such a close connection with you. It's, just, it's giving a lot of why it got to be you. It's giving a lot of that. Okay, let me get one over here for this friend. I don't want to make this too long. Wow, we got relationships. I'm in touch with those people who serve my higher good. But it's giving negativity, though. This person was supposed to be a part of your soul tribe, and they felt it. But they didn't like it. Because they haven't been doing the work. They haven't been healing. So it came off in a negative way instead of a positive way. And you both could be feminine. Both of you could be feminine here. Or one of you could be a, you could be a masculine watching. And this could be a feminine. Or this could be a masculine. Or you could be a feminine watching. And this could be a feminine or a masculine. I'll take it as it resonates. Clarify pride. It's like it's giving your trauma doesn't hold you back. You actually do the work and try to better yourself. Oh, well, we got justice. You're receiving karmic justice because you actually love yourself and you see yourself in other people. You try to help people heal their trauma, heal their issues here. And you tried to help this friend, but you knew that it wasn't going to be able to happen. This friend, they love their toxic ways. Clarify relationships. And they wanted to keep themselves close to you. Ooh, look, the Ace of Cups came right out with it. They wanted to keep themselves close to you so they can manifest off of your sacral chakra energy. That's what this King of Pentacles is giving me. They wanted to manifest off of your love and energy. Off of the ability, off of the, off of the will that you had so much love for this person. And they used the fact that you had so much love for them to harness your sacral chakra energy. This... This person was never really your friend. They only really came around you. They only really, they probably helped you out here too. They probably listened to you, but they only did these things to harness your sacred chakra energy. And that's another reason why they're under judgment. They're being forced to face themselves, to look at themselves here. I don't know why I've been compelled to pull or through for my personal day here. Look at the cards that just slipped out. If they stole from you, they're getting karma. I'm telling you, somebody has received some type of karma. That's a friend here. I don't think that talk about it just fell out. Yeah, you're going to be speaking. Either you're going to be speaking some type of truth to this friend, or you're just going to be speaking some type of truth, period, on some of the things that has happened to you. And it's going to cause a lot of change in the universe. There's going to be a lot of change that happens in some individuals' lives, especially this friend here. All right. Let me get, I'm going to get three for this side and three for this side. Give me three for this individual, which is you. Oh, oh, you better be cool when you see me. Oh, my goodness. Oh, whoa. Yo, let me look at Terry at the top of the deck. Look, it's still showing his face. You could possibly be a tarot reader here. Or again, this could just be talking about this person going to get tarot readings on you. Wanting to do everything that you do. Whether they're meant to be in your soul tribe or not, this friend was very toxic. But you come off an energy like, be cool when you see me. Because you're not playing. Like, I heard the song, pick the world up and I'm going to drop it on your fucking head. <laughs> like, you're not playing no more. Like, you're not coming through with that sweetheart energy. You're standing up for yourself. And like I say, you or this person could possibly be a Leo. We got Leo at the bottom of the deck. Let me get two more. You're not playing no games. Because you've been sweet and kind and nice for too long. And you work too hard to get where you are right now. Work way too hard to have somebody try to take it away from you. Again, they go through sacred chakra energy. This person wants to take your ideas. They want to stop you from being so creative. They're, they're attacking your money and your business here. Whatever it is that you're working on, they're attacking it through a high priestess. And this high priestess is going to be judged here. Both of them are being judged if they are going to a high priestess. 
Let me get one more. Because they're guilty as charged. Guilty almost came out. These people are guilty as charged. Oh, look at Daughter Earth came out. Oh my goodness. So you got Daughter Earth on your side here. You're very well balanced. You can't be touched. You care about the planet here. You were sent here to nourish the planet. And the planet is on your side. Oh wow, that's beautiful. Give me one more for the daughter earth. Clarify this daughter earth. I gotta clarify that. Oh, she says stop worrying. Oh my goodness. We've got spiritual battles on the back. I've been told to show that. Don't worry. Because they're handling your spiritual battles here. Don't worry. She got you. <laughs> she got you. Oh my gosh. All right, let's move on to this individual right here. Let's see. I just seen their turn now. I think this person is under judgment. We got connected that just came out and it came right over here on your side. This person only wanted to be connected to you to take your harness, to, to harness your sacred chakra energy. And I said that. And they probably knew that she was meant to be a part of that solo tribe here. We got two, two, two. No, we got the two of clubs coming out here. This person is very insecure. I've been told to show that. They're very insecure. You could be saying two, two, two a lot. Or there's something about two, two, two that's very significant. This You and this person were supposed to be connected with each other. That's what I'm getting here. You were supposed to be connected. But they just can't see themselves being connected with you because it's, cause they're not healed. And they don't want to be healed. And if they do want to be healed, they're not trying to. And even if you guys do come into connection in the future somehow, well, I don't I don't know. But this person, like, they have a lot of healing to do. Because they don't look at you as a soul tribe member, as somebody that, you know, that they can really have a healthy relationship with. This person is looking at you with a lot of jealousy, Eva I. And it's backfiring on them because their ego is too big. His ego, their ego is too big. And all you wanted to do was come in and support this person. Give me one more. We got you did the work. Wow. This person know that you did the work to heal yourself. And they didn't. This is another reason why they wanted to come in and take from you. They're so willing to grab after you, so willing to take from you instead of doing the work themselves here. They have to do the work if they want to be close to you. If you guys are meant to be, you know, a part of a solo tribe together, they're going to have to do the healing work. They have to. All right, give me one more to close it out. Let's close it out. Was it love? Yeah, that was love. Let's close it out here, Divine. Thank you. Happiness flip over too. We got discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. This person likes the fact you're so disciplined that you're so happy. I am aware that being happy means that I'm on the right path. Clarify discipline. Organized, patient with yourself, and the six of wands, and you're gonna come out victorious at the end of the day. Clarify happiness because you've been doing the work. Congratulations. Keep going. Don't give up on yourself, and don't worry. Try to find a way to get this friend out of your energy if they're stealing your energy. You don't have to be. We got the star. At the end of the day, you're chosen. Oh my God, you are a chosen one. They did this to a chosen one. They went and got divination work with a high priestess on a chosen one. They went and tried to bind themselves through a high priestess. They went to a high priestess to try to bind themselves to you, and you're a chosen one. They went to a high priestess to get divination work on you to try to stop your finances and stop everything that you're working on to a chosen one. 
And you're going to come out victorious at the end of the day, period. So it don't even matter. So don't worry. Because they're fighting their battles for you. This friend is under judgment. And I've been picking up on this friend energy a lot lately. I'm talking about a lot. And look at that. You even have, she even got a V on her earring. Victorious. Something about that, that TV show Victorious I'm getting here too. You could, have, you could have been born in the 90s. I'm hearing that TV show Victorious. Oh, wow. This is, all right, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and end that right there. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll